G'day and welcome to the English in the NRL round 14 wrap. Now it's going to be a pretty light on session today because we only had four Englishmen on show. Uh, there was no Burgi. Uh, we already knew that Sam was out um, having shoulder surgery. We knew that Tom was suspended but also getting an ankle clean out and George was ill. So George didn't play against the Panthers and they really missed all three of them as the bunnies went down 19-18. So, yet again, I got my tip wrong by, I got the point the wrong way. And Katie Walker missed a field goal from 10 metres out right in front. But anyway, what do you do? Now, the Englishman that did play, and we have to go all the way back to last Thursday, and the Canberra Raiders, uh, three English players, all stood up because it was a great win for the Raiders. They defeated the Sharks 22-20 in an absolute bell ringer of a game. Uh, the Raiders flew out of the block, sled 20-0. Um, they had 78% of possession at one point. Now, once that tide turned, the Sharks come flooding back. We got to 20 all and a late Jared Croker penalty goal. Got the uh, Raiders home. The Green Machine just hanging on. For the Englishmen, John Bateman and Elliot Whitehead were again two of their best. Week in, week out. Uh, you can depend on those two. They both played 80 minutes. And that's another amazing thing for Ricky Stewart. It's so dependable that you know what they're going to bring to the table and that they're going to play the full game. Just makes it so much easier. So they both played 80 minutes. Uh, so a few stats for you. John Bateman, four tackle breaks and 95 running metres. And Elliot White had two tackle breaks and also ran for 95 metres. So there you go. They basically mirrored each other in performance, effort and output. Now Ryan Sutton, he started at prop. That's his second week in a row starting at prop. But he only played 44 minutes this week. Not as effective as the previous week when he went gangbusters. Uh, he just ran for 79 metres. So a good performance there from the Raiders. And also Josh Hodgson is apparently on track. Now there's no NRL this week because of the standalone State of Origin match and the International Test Weekend. I'll do a preview for you in the next couple of days. Um, so they get in two weeks, Josh Hodgson is an outside chance of playing against the Parramatta Eels in Darwin. And he said, if not, he'll definitely be back the week after against the Dragons. So that's great news for the Raiders and for England. We want to fully fit Josh Hodgson because he is a great player. Now, the Roosters, Ryan Hall got a start with the full strength Roosters team for the first time. Minus James Tedesco, he got rested. Uh, with During origin period, Trent Robinson likes to rest, rest the Roosters. And Ryan Hall had a fantastic game. He ran for 196 metres. He was just putting his hand up every set of six for the tough carries. He didn't score a try. In the, it was an easy win to the Roosters. I won by about 20. But he played really, really well. He's getting better every week, as I keep saying each week. But it is true. And he is a beast. He is so big and strong. And he just bent the Bulldogs' defensive line every single time. So 196 metres, that's a great output from Ryan Hall. And you can only see better things happening from him in the back end of the season. And the Roosters will need him because they'll have a few bit of origin fatigue and they'll be relying on people like Ryan Hall to boost them every time they play. Now, Chris McQueen didn't play for the NRL, for the Tigers, but he backed up and played in the uh, West's Magpies team in the reserve grade New South Wales Canterbury Cup. He played in the 16-12 win. Herbie Farnworth didn't run out for the North Devils. Not sure what happened there. He might have been injured. But the big news uh, for the English people, you'd probably already know this, but Callum Watkins, he's left the Super League and he's been picked up by the Gold Coast Titans. Now, he will, I can pretty much assure you, he'll play in the right centre, replacing Jesse Arthurs, who's a rookie, who's been doing really well. But the Gold Coast, they need a big back end of the season. And Callum Watkins, is, as we all know, is a fantastic player, big body, and I think he'll do re really well in the NRL. So I'm expecting a big back end of the season. It might take him a couple of games to get used to the NRL, but I think he'll do really well at the Titans. Give him some early ball, and he'll do his job. Um, so there you go, Callum Watkins to the NRL. Another English player over in the NRL. That's great news. OK, that's it. It was only a short wrap. Half the English players weren't playing, and hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll have some good news for you on their performances.